today I'm going to be doing something which has actually become quite popular in the last two or three years. I'm actually going to be LRF fishing, but we're going to be LRF fishing for mini species today. They're actually down in Hale Harbour, which is actually a great venue for tigers and mini species. And we're also going to be using some ultralight tackle as well, so it should be some great fun. So I'm just going to run you through the sort of rod and reel I'm using today for these mini species. The rod is actually an ultra-light uh, lure rod. It's a 0 0.5 to 7 gram. So you're going to be using very, very light lures indeed. Um, it's, a, it's a very good all-round rod for targeting the new species. As you get up to the tip end, it's actually very, very sensitive. So it's going to indicate any sort of tiny movement or tiny little indication bites I do get while fishing for them. It's a great all-round rod. Although it is very, very light, it does have a great backbone in it. So if I was lucky enough to catch a bigger fish, say maybe a two-pound wrasse or a two-pound bass, it would be able to handle it. Um, it would just take a bit longer to get in. Um, it, it, it would obviously put up a very good fight on this rod. Uh, and so while catching the mini species as well. To catch a little tiny wrasse or, or a blenny or even a little goby will put up a nice little fight on this and it does give you some extreme fun while fishing. The reel um, to be honest, it's probably a bit big for this rod. Um, it's the only one I had at hand, so I, this is the only one I could bring. Um, just a sort of standard spinning reel, a 2,000 to 1,000 size is probably best. Um, the line I'm using today, I'm not actually using braid. Uh, quite a lot of people like to use braid, but it's just personal preference for me, really. So today I'm actually using fluorocarbon, uh, just because simply it's going to get my soft lures down there tighter to the bottom, um, and the line's going to run, run along the bottom as well. Um, braid just tends to sort of float up a bit, and. Personally for me, I, like, I, like, I prefer using the fluorocarbon when targeting the mini species. So all round, great little setup for targeting mini species, um, for you to have a great day's fishing with friends and family. Yes, we have one on. This is actually a very nice little fish. This is actually what we call a scorpion fish or a bullhead. Very, very pretty fish. Now, this is what we call a scorpion fish or a bullhead. Um, not poisonous at all, although they do sort of look like they could be because they have got some, some nice little spines on them, on their dorsal fin and on the actual head themselves. It's nothing more than protection really, than um, if, if a big bass or if something comes hunting for them. But a very, very pretty little fish, um, as you can see. Um, and they're actually very, very aggressive as well. You, these actually grow a bit bigger than this. And when they do, they do grow bigger, they actually do become quite a nice little hard fighting fish. One thing you do have to put in consideration when fishing um, sometimes is the wildlife can actually become quite aggressive. We've actually got these two swans here which have actually been hissing at me for, for quite a while now. They were hissing at me when I was setting up earlier on um, and they've just come back to have another go as well. When we actually got here, people who know me know I'm not actually a great fan of seals and there was actually a seal bobbing around here as well which I thought was typical because as we were filming today I thought I'd probably catch a fish and the thing would probably come and nick it. Um, luckily the seals cleared off but the swans are actually still harassing me. So we're going to carry on fishing and hopefully we won't get harassed too much today by these pesky little swans. So I'm going to run you through a couple of the baits I'm going to be using today, targeting the mini species. The so first off we've actually got the, uh, the isomi. They're actually a great all-round bait um, for all kinds of mini species, uh, salt and freshwater to be fair. Um, these come in a range of different sizes and colours. Uh, today I've actually got the red, the beach, white and the brown. So I've actually gone what, what I think is natural for in and around these areas. What's good with these as well, they're actually jam-packed with amino acids, so they, they, let, they also let off a scent as well as giving some good movement down there on the bottom and sort of mid-water as well. Moving on, we've got what we call night worms. Uh, these are actually UV as well, so you can use them at night. Um, they do sort of let off a slight glow, which is very handy if, uh, if you prefer your night fishing for LRFing. Um, these also come in a range of different colours as well. We've got obviously the, the, the pink ones here, uh, we've got the, the sort of clear white, um, beach, blue, so on and so on. We've got a fair few selection of those, so we'll be giving them a good crack today. Um, but they're the two main baits we're going to be using today, and they are generally a couple of the best baits you can use while targeting many species.
Well, I'm actually going to be moving down river now. Uh, we've actually caught a few smaller fish here, but they are actually only very, very tiny. So I'm just moving down a little bit further to slightly deeper water where there might just be the odd slightly bigger mini species hanging around. Well, I've actually moved down river and as you can tell, my friends have actually followed me. Um, don't seem to want to leave me alone. So we're just going to try and fish around them now. Um, if they hiss at me, I may just have to give them a hiss back. <laughs> I don't want to fall in the river with them. We have a fish on. He's, he's slightly bigger actually than the last two we've had. He's not massive again, but it's just another goby. Um, but very similar to the one we had earlier. Um, it's just that slightly bigger, that's all. Very pretty little fish. Although today I've been targeting mini species down in Hale, Hale actually offers a great amount of different kinds of fishing and to be honest it can be very, very productive as well. During the summer months we actually have a number, a great number of gillhead bream, mullet and bass come up and flood these rivers, as well as over in the Kansu Pool. Kansu Pool has actually produced very well in the, in the summer of 2013, producing some very nice gilthead bream as well, as well as some really nice mullet. There's also been some bass being caught this year as well in the river. Um, again, not huge, but it's good fish to catch. So we've actually got the main river here itself, um, whereas generally more of the bass and the mullet are caught, uh, but you do also pick up a lot of gilthead bream here as well. Uh, over in Kansu Pool, which is actually known nationwide for its uh, superb gilthead bream fishing, um, it, it, there's been bream caught this year up to a six pound mark, but averaging to sort of about three to four pounds, which has actually been a very good year this year for gilthead bream. Uh, if you move further down the river to, towards the sea, um, there's actually an arm that goes out, but when the tide does run, it does run in there extremely quick, um, but that can be very, very good if you plug in for, say, bass. Um, which the bass seem to lo like, quite like it down there, and you do catch quite a few numbers. Um, so, although today, like I say, I was targeting the mini species today, Hale has, does actually offer a great amount of fishing. Well, we're getting a few bites down there, uh, but they only seem to be very, very little indeed, and the bites seem very spread apart. So I'm just going to change my colour now. I'm actually, I was using white before, but just because the water is that slightly murkier than what it normally is, because of the lot of rain we've had recently. Um, so I'm just going to switch to something maybe a bit more natural. Um, so I'm just sort of going to go for a brownie colour now and see if that one works. If not, we'll try again. So some days fish can be very fussy. Some days I'll go for literally every colour under the sun. You put anything in front of them, they'll take it. Some days they won't go for anything except green, brown, or pink. So sometimes you've just got to work that a bit harder just to find the right colour that they're actually feeding on. Well, the way you fish for these mini species um, is effectively what I'm doing is I'm looking for sort of the rocks um, and little holes down there. And we've got a bite now actually. We've just switched to the brown colour from the white and it's worked straight away. And we actually have a fish on. Oh, and he's, he's gone. But what I was saying, as the way you work these little, these little worms and other little soft baits, is you find the little nooks and crannies down there where you think you're going to be, where the fish are going to be hiding out uh, in the weeds and in their little sort of caves down there. And you just want to imitate basically the, a struggling bait, I suppose. Um, so you just want to give it little tiny vibrations, which entice the fish out to come and take it. If you if you give it too big a jerk and too big a bounces, it generally scares the fish off. So what I'm doing, I'm just giving it the tiniest vibrations on the rod tip because with this rod, I have got that sensitive tip so I, can, I am able to um, produce the little tiny vibrations that entice the fish to bite. We've got another fish, it's, again, it's another goby. Uh, it's a slightly different one this time, actually. He's actually a much darker one uh, with a much brighter fin on him. Another very gorgeous looking fish. Um, again, it's, again, it's only a goby. But if that's what's feeding today, that's all what's feeding. Um, and not much else can be done about that. But it, it's fishing at the end of the day and it's given us a good, a good little bit of sport um, on an afternoon where the weather, to be honest, isn't great. Um, so we've just managed to get out and catch a few little fish. Um, just, it's just good fun, really. Well, although we didn't catch many species today, we did manage to catch a few of the, uh, the rock gobies and the scorpion or forehead. Uh, so it hasn't actually been that bad of a day. 
Uh, so join me next time and please like, subscribe and tight lines for now.